Welcome back. In the last lesson, I taught you all about up and down strokes and about palm muni. In this lesson, we're still going to stick with just the bar chord, but this time what we're going to work on is we're going to work on adding in flourishes with the syncopation and the rhythm of your strum. So far, we've been doing one, two, three, four, or you've been doing one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. But, as you probably know when the song smells like teen spirit, it's not just da, 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 da. There's a lot of little extra stuff. There's Now what you want to do here is there's a lot of dead notes. We'll get to that later, but for right now we're going to work on the strumming pattern. For me to figure out the strumming patterns, I just listen to the songs or I play what I can play and slowly get more complicated from there. So right now with Smells Like Teen Spirit, it's da 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 So it's just da 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 Now this is just a mixture of and then your A's. Now those dead notes they're called are you just lightly rest your hand upon the strings and just strum through all the strings. So Simple as that. Just keep running through that, trying your own. You don't just have to do Smells Like Teen Spirit, you can do. Just keep messing around and keep doing your own thing and just get used to not just doing straight quarter notes or straight eighth notes. Just start mixing it up, but make sure you keep a rhythm and keep a tempo and you, what you want to hopefully do is stay in 4-4 four, four time signature. That's what all rock songs are. Well, most rock songs. It's the 1-2-3-4, 1-2-3-4, 1-2-3-4, 1-2-3-4. Because that will help you gain a sense of how to play rock songs. And that's why you're here. You're not here to become the greatest. You're here to get started to where you can go and do whatever you want to do. I'm teaching you how to teach yourself here. And in the next coming lessons, I'm going to teach you more open chords and how to actually read tabs and how to read chord diagrams so that you can start teaching yourself and you don't have to keep looking up terrible videos on YouTube. Thank you for watching. Work hard, be smart, and I'll see you in the next lesson.